So in this video, we're going to be talking about DaVinci Resolve 16.2, which is the latest update to DaVinci Resolve. Now, I know in my previous video, I said that one of the cons on the 1DX Mark III was that right now for Windows user, the support for the raw file is really not there. But with DaVinci Resolve 16.2, which just came out today, that changes because now with the newest version of DaVinci Resolve, Canon 1DX Mark III, raw file .crm files are now supported. So that's what we're gonna be doing today and so I'm gonna show you where to get this update and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in DaVinci Resolve 16. So if you look at Blackmagic Designs products, if you click on this product here, you're gonna see their main page. If you go to support, right here you're gonna see and scroll down you're gonna see the latest support news this is where you find the newest update firmware update for your camera firmware update for your monitors everything right here and as you'll see today the vids resolve 16.2 has been released so let's go ahead and click more uh, you can download mac windows linux but let's go ahead and click more and i'll show you kind of like the overview of what changed so if I pretty much just scrolled all the way down and kind of kind of just see what else changed and I wasn't actually expecting them to come out with the 1DX Mark III support so quickly, but they did. So if you see right here, let's go ahead and go with codec improvements. You're going to see that support for the Canon EOS 1DX Mark III camera is in there. Additionally, a lot of people were waiting for this, and I was waiting for this as well. The support for decoding 32-bit floating point audio is also now supported in the Vinci Resolve. So if you have a Mix Pre 2 like I, like I do, uh, and you shoot 32-bit floating point audio, if you have a Zoom, I think it's the F6 that also has a 32-bit floating that is now supported in the newest DaVinci Resolve software. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, so we are now in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. As you can see, I have some .crm files here and one MP4, and this wave right here is a 32-bit floating point audio file then i'm just gonna see how it works out in this new update so let's go ahead and drag number 8.crm which is a shot here for my test 18 is a low light shot 6400 iso again for my test and some of these uh footage you can download from my previous video so let's go ahead and drag and drop this 32-bit float floating point audio i'm gonna remove the linking and delete the rest of those ones so let's go ahead and get started let's see if, what the playback looks like okay so that's actually unbelievable so if you haven't seen a video i posted about my the workflow i was doing before i was pretty much decoding from the canon software exporting from there some t some tiff files and then importing those tiff files here and i was not able to play back just like what i just did just now there's just no way i couldn't play back smoothly even with a ryzen thread ripper 16 cores 32 threads 1080 ti graphics card i just was not able to do that so that's already an improvement right there that's absolutely amazing so let's go ahead and go to the color tab and you're gonna see our two files you're gonna see here it's gonna say canon c200 raw which is really weird because this came from a 1dx mark III camera but i think that's just because if you see right here that's the canon log 2 it probably has something to do with the registry of the software is just not there yet maybe one day they'll change that to 1dx mark 3 but i can guarantee you that these files came from a 1dx mark 3 so let's go ahead and look around so let's go to clip and this is how you decode a raw clip so as you can see here you can change uh white balance color temp right here tint exposure as well sharpness you can do that and then the highlight tab you can bring down which is really good at um if you're trying to retain some highlights from blown out highlights you know and stuff like that so you can change the shadows color boost saturations midtone detail lift gain and contrast all in the venture resolve 16 and that is absolutely amazing and the canon log 2 i believe is better than the first canon log in my opinion of course so let's go ahead and take a look at the canon c200 of the low light let's do the same exact thing same thing um 
Oh man, that's that's great. You can you can really bring down some of those kind of clipped highlights. So what I'll do is let's just play around. Let's go turn up the exposure a little bit. Man, you, the, uh, that camera's latitude. And this was shot at ISO 6400, I believe. So this is kind of like the noise, noise profile that you see. Okay, so that's what you're gonna see with a 16.2 and a 1DX Mark III. I'm gonna try, I'm not trying to make this video super long. And the next thing we're gonna do is the 32-bit float point. So let's click on that. Let's go ahead and click on Fairlight. So Fairlight is the built-in audio editor. And you're gonna see here that the 32-bit floating point should work and oh that's not a 32 bit this is a 32 bit right here and you can see that you can go from no audio all the way up because you have that full latitude of that 32 bit floating point so if i had an audio recorded at a very very low quality or level i can now turn it up all in the vince resolve all right guys i know that was just a quick video i just want to give you guys the update uh, really exciting stuff. So really, I honestly don't have any other cons for the 1DX Mark III that now that is supported in the Vinci Resolve aside for the price point. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.